We are now at one of the most interesting and exciting events, the Samaritan Passover sacrifice event on Mount Rizim. Here we have Hanan, who is the chairman, the head of the town of, in Mount Rizim of the Samaritans, and Yossi Dagan, the chairman of the Shamron Regional Council. So let's start off trying to understand where we are geographically and uh, later on I'll explain what explain more about this event. We are on Mount Grizim which is just south of the city of Shechem slash Nablus and this place um, is mentioned in the Bible as a place where the children of Israel would gather after they enter the land of Israel to recite the blessings and the curses of the Torah. In short, a, there was a ceremony at, in between these two mountains. Six members of six tribes climbed up on one mountain and six tribes on the other mountain. In all, there were 12 tribes of Israel. The Kohanim, the priest, stood in the middle and they recited the blessings and the curses of the Torah. When they recited the blessings, they faced Mount Grizim. In short, they said, if you abide by the laws of the Torah, you will be blessed. And the entire nation answered, Amen. And then they faced the mountain to the, the other mountain, and they said, if you do not abide by the laws of this uh, Torah, you will be cursed and the entire nation answered Amen. So this mountain, Mount Grizim, is considered to be the Mount of the Blessing. The Jewish town, just south of the neighborhood that we are in, is called Har Bracha, which means Mount Blessing. And according to the Samaritan tradition, Mount Grizim is the holy mountain, uh, Contrary to the Jewish tradition in which Mount Moriah in Jerusalem is the holy mountain, the Samaritans hold that the blessing never left the mountain. So we are now on Mount Grizim, which is about an hour north of Jerusalem on Road 60, and just south of just south of Shechem, Nablus, or east of Ariel. It's about half an hour east and then north from Ariel in the Shamron. And we are now uh, observing the Samaritan sacrifice event. All of the people who are dressed in white are members of the Samaritan community. And some people are dressed in other, other colors, but most of the people who are dressed in, a, in regular in, in a regular fashion are mostly a visitors who are not uh, Samaritans, uh, some tourists, some documenters, uh, researchers, uh, friends, dignitaries who have come from around the country. I have come to learn that the Samaritans are very interesting to many people. Uh, Christians who I have a brought on tour in the Shamron were always excited to learn that there are Samaritans who are real people uh, that uh, exist today because the Samaritans are mentioned in the New Testament in the Christian Bible the story of the Good Samaritan many people are familiar with the term the Good Samaritan there are even countries that have passed laws for a name for the Good Samaritan, which requires people to help others who are in distress on the way. Uh, and uh, the woman in the w at the well is another story that is known to Christians from the Christian Bible that has to do with the Samaritan woman. So it is uh, always exciting and interesting for Christians to learn that there are Samaritans that uh, exist today 
The Samaritan people, according to their tradition, are descendants of the northern tribes of Israel. At the time of the first temple in Jerusalem, there were uh, two kingdoms, a a northern kingdom of Israel and the southern kingdom of Judea. And the northern kingdom was overrun about 130 years before the southern kingdom of Judea. In the Jewish tradition, there's a idea of the ten lost tribes of Israel, the tribes that at some time in the future, in the Messianic times, the northern, the lost tribes will return and we will again see them and they will join the, the people of Israel. In the Samaritan tradition, the Samaritans see themselves as descendants of the northern tribes, particularly of the tribe of Menashe and Ephraim. And they have lived here in the Samaria, which was the heart of the northern kingdom of Israel. They've lived here for a very, very long time. According to the Jewish narrative, they've been here for at least 2,500 years. According to the Samaritan tradition, they've been here for 3,700 years. Uh, Either way, that's a very long time. And today, they are gathering to observe the Passover sacrifice. Here on Mount Grizim, which in the Samaritan tradition is the holy mountain. This is contrary to the Jewish tradition where Mount Moriah is the holy mountain and is the place of the Mikdash, the temple. The temple in the Jewish tradition stood on Mount Moriah. And Jewish people would gather for the Passover sacrifice at Mount Moriah.
שרבי זה תימני, למה? אני לא שרבי. העברי, העברי. העברי.